No, because nobody described this to me or taught me that. Yes. Because then the control comes in. Right. And they control it so that they mm-hmm. now have all that power of everything that goes on. But yeah, it is. It's their insecurity. Mm-hmm. And it could be man or woman um, that's an abuser. But that's where it always starts is that emotional um, and isolating, not Absolutely. encouraging you to have friends around. And that could be from either telling your friends things that about you or saying, oh, one of the things yes. my ex used to say is, you don't know what they say when you're not around. Right. Oh, and so well. then you start to feel like you can't trust any of your friends. And your family. Yes. They get your family too. Yes. And so they isolate you. So look yeah. for that manip- like that controlling, the isolation, not encouraging you to be who you've always been, right? Making you question yourself. Mm-hmm. Or they actually start talking down to you for certain things that they used to like about you. Yes. Yes. I, yes, I know. All the things that were good about you are now bad. Yeah, everything's now bad. Interesting. So we talked a bit about this uh, control and manipulation in our uh, episode on narcissism. narcissism. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, interesting that it's probably a hop, skip, and a jump away from narcissism to abuse. I mean, physical I, abuse. Yeah, I was about to get into that, especially somebody that's highly um, verbally and emotionally abusive. They have a lot of narcissistic tendencies. Mm-hmm which is kind of what we're talking about with mm-hmm. the control, the isolation, all of that. That's how it starts.